Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Tuesday, March the 2nd. And this is a, a product, I don't know if you'd call it recall, but a uh, warning, how about that? That you're going to want to know about if you have pets. Especially if you use flea collars. Popular flea collar linked to almost 1,700 pet deaths. The EPA has issued no warning. No warning. Hmm. That's the Environmental Protective Agency. All right, this, this is USA Today by Jonathan Hedinger, Midwest Center for Investigative Reporting. Can't tell what is that they're doing. I guess that's a puppy. Is that a puppy? <laughs> Must be so tiny I, I can't tell the features of it. Okay, let's get on with this. <clears throat> Rhonda Bumwell had never used a flea and tick collar before. Pierre, her nine-year-old Papillon service dog, was mostly an indoor animal. Still, her veterinarian recommended she purchase one. So Bombwell went to the pet store near her home in Somerset, New Jersey, and selected the Bears Zaresto Collar. A day later, on June 2nd, 2020, Pierre had a seizure, collapsing while Bombwell was making dinner. Lying on his back, the dog stopped breathing and his eyes rolled back. Bombwell tried to give him CPR. Then she called the police. An officer helped her lift the dog into her car, and she rushed him to the hospital. Pierre died before he could receive medical treatment. Bombwell didn't think to take off Pierre's collar. I just didn't put it together, she said. Bombwell isn't alone. Seresto one of the most popular flea and tick collars in the country has been linked to hundreds of pet deaths, tens of thousands of injured animals, and hundreds of harmed humans. U.S. Environmental Protection Agency documents show. Yet, the EPA has done nothing to inform the public of the risks. I call that pathetic and lazy and doesn't care. Do not care. They do not care. Yet the EPA has done nothing to inform the public. Okay. Soresto, developed by Bayer, you know, who makes Bayer aspirin, and now sold by Elenco, works by releasing small amounts of pesticide onto the animal for months at a time. The pesticide is supposed to kill fleas, ticks, and other pests, but be safe for cats and dogs. But thousands of pets are being harmed, according to federal documents obtained through a public records request from the Center for Biological Diversity, an, a nonprofit organization in that watchdog that, sorry, a nonprofit organization that watchdogs the EPA as part of its work to protect endangered species. 
The center provided the documents to the Midwest Center for Investigative Reporting. Since Seresto, flea and tick collars were introduced in 2012, the EPA has received incident reports of at least 1,698 related pet deaths. Overall, through June of 2020, the agency has received more than 75,000 incident reports related to the callers, including nearly 1,000 involving human harm. At what point are they going to pull it from the market? Where is the recall for that? Spread the word. Please tell your friends. If you've got a Facebook, post it there. They'll probably allow it. Because it has to do with helping animals, right? And a few people. This is disgusting. To not recall a product that is has been found to kill animals and they're not putting a recall on it? What do they want to depopulate the pet population? Just saying. I'm done. I'll talk to you later.